What is up, my fellow kids? If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. I am super excited about today's video. I did indeed decorate all of my beaches in one video, in one sitting. It took me like about two hours in real life, not bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a speed build for that since, you know, it feels kind of too quick if you just do one beach. I was like, you know, why don't I just do all of them and have a super long speed build? So yeah, concept for this first beach is, well, I guess it's the beach rock, but the concept here is going to be like a marine lab. This is very much inspired by my first ever island, Rivendell, very early on my Instagram page. I did a marine lab concept on one of my beach rocks. So yeah, that's what I'm going for here. Enjoy. With the exception of the beach right beside Punchy's house, I did try to go for warmer toned beaches, lots of brown, lots of green coming in through the plants that I use. But yeah, I just wanted them to feel cohesive with each other and with the rest of my island, which is very, very warm. Um, but I didn't incorporate like mush items or anything, surprisingly. I had planned on doing a mush forest. Is it mush? Do you say mush? Like mushroom? Anyway, I had planned on doing a mushroom forest on the right side of my island, but I got kind of lazy and decided I didn't want to plan that out in a way that would be like easy to navigate. So instead I do like a plant shop and a cafe. Stay tuned for that. Down on the beach itself, I want to incorporate both the studious vibe that I've carried throughout the beach rock and also like a lounge vibe, um, especially further down on the beach, kind of this idea that like, you know, maybe the marine biologists who come out to study also need to take a nap sometimes. I decide that I cannot rest until I find the right kind of shell to put on this log bench beside the typewriter. I don't know why, it's just nothing else would have fit for me. But look how cute it is, the little shell on the bench, I adore it. Throughout the beach build, I'm kind of using custom designs just to fill space so it doesn't feel so empty because I was determined not to clutter my beaches on this island. But yeah, after I've placed some custom designs, this first beach is done. And with the second one, this is where I incorporate the cooler tones. I want to use blues a lot just to match with Punchy's house. And yeah, I end up incorporating a sort of campsite on the big beach rock. If you watched my first ever video, you'll remember BBR, big beach rock. One of the reasons I chose this map. He becomes a campsite. 
I don't know why he's a he, but yes. My idea for this beach is sort of like a little butterfly garden. Um, I just think it was calming. It's a nice little place to walk, but not necessarily, you know, something with a purpose aside from being calming. I like that though. I like that it doesn't feel cluttered. It's just a little walkway on the beach. This is where I kind of start planning out my campsite. I do have to edit it a little bit as I'm going. I have to keep moving the second tent around because I'm just never happy with where it is. But yeah, I think it ends up being pretty cozy. Also, side note, I hope you're really enjoying this completely random mix of music that I've selected for this video. I hope I'm not making you uber aware of it now, but like, listen to this absolute jam. The campsite is kind of coming to a close. I just want to edit like a few other things here placement wise. Um, I really like the vibe here by the way. I think it has like a nice spa vibe, very relaxing. But I just wanted to mention for those of you who are curious, I usually get my music from the royalty free YouTube audio library. Basically it's just this free library of music that YouTube collects for you. You can access it through the YouTube studio and download any of the music for use in your videos. Just, you know, if that's helpful for you. And if I use other music, I will note it in the description. Um, I occasionally use Stream Beats by Harris Heller. That's another free resource for music for streamers and YouTube video makers. So yeah. My concept for this beach is completely inspired by Afterglow.Horizons on Instagram. Lucy is a beach genius. I've said it before. I'll say it again in the future. Always such an inspiration. Definitely check out Lucy's beaches. But yeah, it's like a deep sea aquarium vibe. Like I got a lot of the deep sea creatures from diving and yeah, I'm just gonna put them on display here. It has another study kind of vibe going on. I'm gonna put like a microscope and stuff. I don't know what my overall idea for this is, but basically you can come and see the, the deep sea creatures. Oh. You might notice occasionally while I'm running around that you can kind of see furniture further down the beach. That's because I did, in order to plan for this video, set out several furniture items in each like beach location just to give myself some ideas and to have them out so I wouldn't have to keep running back to storage and editing that out. So yeah, some of these areas did already have furniture out just for convenience. Again, I want to keep this beach feeling very open, but I don't want it to feel empty, so I'm using the custom designs just to make that 
not happen, I guess, just to keep it where it feels full and cozy. Um, if you're interested in any of the codes that I use, the majority of them can be found in the video linked in the description that says all of my codes. A few of them have been edited and I still need to add those to the description of that video, the code numbers, but they can be found in my other speed builds as well. I feel like it's kind of dark to incorporate a fire pit in this location just because it's like what are we doing eating the fish but like yeah I guess. I think red looks really good on the beaches so I wanted to have a couple of areas that were like redder themed. Um, so here I'm having like a cozy little holiday setup because also it's right by Able Sisters and Able Sisters has always felt very homey to me so I wanted to make sure that that theme kind of followed into the beach as well. So I do a little bit of editing and revising as I go along but this is just a fun little like festive cozy lounge space for the Able Sisters. <laughs> I try to use these circle like pavers, I guess. I don't know what you'd call them, but I try to use them to kind of guide like any visitor who comes by like, yeah, this is where you're intended to walk. So it doesn't feel as awkward that I'm just like slapping them down on the ground to fill space. I don't know, I encourage you to just one day go and design all your beaches in one sitting because it's surprising how much you can really put down in a couple hours. This beach has two very different areas going on here with this cozy little lounge and the deep sea aquarium. So I want to include some kind of linking furniture, kind of like a rest stop vibe almost. But yeah, let me know what you think if you have an opinion. Also, brief admission, I did actually complete one of these beaches ahead of time. It was a real-time build I did a while back, so yeah, that beach I did not do in this video, so I'm kind of a liar for saying I did all of them, but please just roll with it. I feel like I did a lot of beaches in this video. You've heard of Campsite on the Big Beach Rock. But now get ready for campsite on the beach, hard stop, period. This is actually my favorite beach decor that I did in this video, I think. I really like how this area turns out. I think it just looks super cute and it really matches my theme well, I think. It has like this welcoming vibe, hospitality. I don't know, I just think it turns out really cute and the colors really vibe. I'm just really proud of this part of my beach, I think.
I promised myself I wouldn't include the new puppy plushies on my island because I'm very much so a cat person. I'm sorry if that offends any of you on a personal level, but yeah, I just thought the dog looked so cute there. I mean, look at the little puppy. Amazing. Just to the right of the campsite, I decide to have like a little restaurant slash picnic area. Kind of like, you know, you're trying to bribe whoever stays at the campsite to come back. You want it to feel like a great place to be. Somewhere popping. So yeah, I'm gonna make this another red themed area. Kind of like the one in front of Abel Sisters. And I think this turns out really cute as well. I use different furniture that I'm accustomed to just to try to get outside of my comfort zone, try out new things. And I think it looks adorable. I'm setting up a beach picnic area. I know these have been super popular on Instagram and Twitter. I think I saw Poppy Pier Crossing do it first, but yeah, I think this is a super cute setup having the little log benches out. So yeah, I wanted to incorporate it on Lost Falls because I've never done it on one of my other islands, but I've always thought it was super precious. The seating here really confounded me, like I feel like I've never paid close attention to the way other people do their seating on their picnics, like for the beaches, but I don't know, I had to try so many different cushion combinations and placements before I was happy with the way that it looked. Once I'm satisfied with the cushions, I just want to fill up the empty space in front of the like restaurant, whatever you want to call it, this little refreshment bar. I just want to fill up all of this empty sand because it feels like glaringly bright compared to the like picnic blanket and everything. So yeah, I'm just trying to find furniture that won't make it feel cluttered that feels like it fits.
when all else fails, just throw some fences down and call it a day. These hedges look cute here in my opinion and I was just out of ideas for furniture I could place without it seeming, you know, a little bit too much. So yeah, I hope you like this beach area. Next, I'm gonna work on my pier. This is not my strong suit. This is actually the first time I've ever decorated a pier on my island. If you've been to Lorien, you know that I just put like the lighthouse at the end and that was just to empty my pockets one day and then I just left it there. So yeah, this is my first go at actually decorating a pier. Please be gentle. I give it a black theme because I'm like, well, I haven't done that anywhere else. So yeah, I'm like, you know, I could come out to the pier to write a letter to my crush. I, I don't know. I decide to keep the super small stretch of beach right behind the refreshments area. Super simple. Um, I mean, it's so small, I didn't want to make it unnavigable by putting a lot of furniture here. So I just place some things that are cute and call it a day. It doesn't have to be that deep. I really like how this rock turns out. It's like tiny, but I don't know. I think it's a vibe. It's a cute little beach side rock. And then here on this tiny little beach, I decide to do my classic wishing well. Unlike the pier that has never been decorated, this is something I've incorporated on all of my islands so far. I've always had a wishing well somewhere on the beach and I will not accept questions. Yes, there's a well on the sand. Yeah. This stretch of beach is also very small, so I decide to make a little plant shop. It's kind of reminiscent of my previous greenhouses on Lorien and Rivendell. Um, I did have a plant shop on the beach on Lorien, but it was super grand. It had like kind of a wedding vibe going on, whereas here I want it super simple, small, and charming, I guess, is the vibe that I'm going for with this one, as opposed to grand and majestic. I just want this to be a cute, humble little plant shop, and I think it turns out cute. I managed to keep this area nice and open, so I'm happy about that. And for this last, longer, more narrow stretch of beach, I decide to make a cafe of sorts, I guess you would call it. I kind of just mix some random furniture here and say, yep, this is a beach location. But I think it's still aesthetically pleasing, at least. And there are tables and chairs and stalls, so cafe is the word I'm going to apply. Once I finish Lost Falls, which is like very soon, probably this week or next, I'm going to release the dream address and after that I'll probably make a few videos like adding winter items to the island just to show you how I would go about redesigning an area without like completely redoing my theme. Um, and this beach might come into play there. I'm not positive yet because I'm not really sure what areas I'm going to incorporate into those videos. But I might edit this beach since I wasn't entirely happy with it. I wasn't really sure what my vibe was going into this beach. I was just like, yeah, we're going to use this furniture that I found in storage that's been sitting there for a while. 
and I think it works out, but that also presents a good opportunity for editing. I can add some of the festive elements maybe. This beach rock is cool, calm, collected, and casual. It's like a backdrop for the restaurant slash cafe that I've created in front of it. It's sort of just for show, not meant to be like functional in any sort of way. And with this, I am officially done decorating all of the beaches. I didn't go to the secret beach. I think I might put that in a speed build with the peninsula. But yeah, that was all of the main island beaches complete. That's insane. I mean, Lost Falls is like literally almost done for real. I know I keep saying that at the end of like the last three videos, but it's just surreal. I remember starting this island what feels like yesterday and now we're almost done and there are so many of you following along and I'm just really happy that you're all here enjoying this vibe with me. So I'm gonna walk through the beaches now, the final products, just briefly so you can see, you know, what they look like here at the end. Firm reminder, this is my favorite part of the beaches I designed in today's video. This is so cute! As some of you may already know, decorating the beaches is my least favorite part of any island build. Like, I feel like I always give up on the beaches. So thank you for tagging along for this struggle bus and thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to share the dream address with all of you. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.